Tell us, to begin, what is the difference, in your opinion, between demonic possession and oppression? Well, possession is much more serious than oppression. Mm -hmm. In oppression, the devil bothers somebody from the outside, sometimes by poking them, sometimes by, uh, where the word comes from, oppression, really pressing down on them, causing difficulty in actions and such. Possession is when the devil actually takes over the operation of the body of the person. And the person doesn't even know what's going on. Mm. It's much how, more serious. How God. common is this sort of diabolical uh, uh, manifestation? Well, it's kind of hard to say exactly how common it is. Mm -hmm. Certainly in the time of Jesus, we have examples in the Gospels of where Jesus exorcised people, the devil from people. And down through the centuries, um, the church has always been involved in helping people get rid of the devil. Rites of exorcism were developed as early as the 1200s. There was one in 1583 and the current one, 1614, that's just been replaced by a new one put out in 1999. Probably 5% of the cases that we look at need an exorcism. And we look at maybe 30 or 40 cases a year in the Archdiocese of New York, but they come from many places, not just from New York. Father, who is most susceptible to demonic possession? Well, again, it's kind of difficult to put a, a, right, to give a, a caption answer, on right. because um, it depends on so much. It, basically, a person who has a weak faith, a person who has given up on God, would be most susceptible to the devil moving in. Mm -hmm. A person who is doing evil things, crime, debauchery, um, evil things, and once in a while a person will sell their soul to the devil,